All righty, folks. Well, it is a couple minutes after six, so let's get started. Welcome to live stream number two from the No Sleep podcast, self-isolation under the No Sleep headquarters. Uh, we are hopefully all staying safe, as we hope you are as well. Thank you for joining us. We've got a, a fun story for you tonight, and I want to introduce these crazy people on the screen with me. I will start, uh, I'm seeing it looks different on the the feed than it does on my screen. So I will go, um, which way am I pointing here? Oh, I can't see. I'm this way, I think. Anyways, I'll stop pointing because it's useless with uh, Zoom. But uh, joining us, uh, who, uh, a lovely actor who uh, joined us on our tour back in October. She was at two shows in Salt Lake City and in Colorado, Estes Park, the Stanley Hotel. We are thrilled that she's joining us. Would you welcome Sarah Thomas? Woo! Hello. Nice to be here. Sarah, where are you joining us from at the moment? I am joining from the great state of Texas, right outside of the city of Amarillo. So I'm up in the panhandle right now. Amarillo. Well, that's in great. My, well, in my Attic room. Atticus was there, uh, was with us last week from Texas. So Texas remains fully represented. Wonderful. We love and you're, do, you're doing well, we hope. Doing all right. Doing just fine. Healthy, happy. We're good to go. That's all you can ask for. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I think beside Sarah in the top row, if we're playing Match Game, an old TV show that you have to be old to remember, um, we have, uh, what can you say about this man? He's a booth junkie. He is the voice <laughs> of God. Uh -huh. He has been with us uh, for many, many years. A, a true fan favorite. All the way from Connecticut, United States, <laughs> would you welcome Mr. Mike Delgadio? Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It's so good to be here. So good to be here. Happy and safe and healthy and outside the contagion zone of New York City, just outside. But outside. yes, that's got to be scary. You're uh, you're in Connecticut, but uh, yeah. you're, uh, if you know your U.S. geography like I don't, <laughs> you will know that. Uh, yeah, you're very close to the We're close. epicenter. We're close. Yep. Good. Well, I'm glad you and yours are staying safe. For Thank sure. you. Now we're going to the uh, to the bottom row, the foundation, the bedrock of this story. Um, a young lady who has uh, been on the show for since season three, four, five, or six, but she is, of course, a fan favorite. She uh, has been on tour with us all across the U.S. She is the voice of so many popular stories. We like to call her Snacks. Would you welcome, <laughs> from South Dakota, Jessica McAvoy. Hello. Hi, Internet. How's everyone doing? I'm sure the comments will light up saying, we're fine, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how are you doing, Jessica? Um, doing okay. It, it snowed in April. Um, so that was cool and weird, but you know, snowing at all is weird. Well, as, as an Arizona native, we can uh, cut you some slack for being dismayed by snow in April. <laughs> is Wonderful. that normal? Is that a thing that happens? Why I don't think it is, totally but I don't normal. know. Uh, we, we occasionally will get snow in April, but... Yeah, uh, but like, that's all Canada is, like snow and maple <laughs> trees and... Hockey, Politeness. Tim yeah. Hortons, right? Something mm. like that. I could go for some Tim. Yeah. We don't have mountains with people's faces carved into them, so you know. So there's that. <laughs> That's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, and completing our uh, our dodecahedron or whatever it is, um, <laughs> a wonderful LA-based actor who also joined us on tour uh, this uh, last October. Um, uh, and Mike did as well. I should have really everyone here joined us on tour at some point. But uh, uh, this, especially Jessica. Yeah, especially a little Jessica. bit. <laughs> uh, this young lady joined us in Seattle and in LA. And uh, actually, you did the very first show and the very last show, didn't you? I did. I did. I wrapped it. So I was your bookend. She is our bookend. We are thrilled that she is with us. The inimitable Aaron Lillis. Hello, Thank Aaron. You. Thank you. Woo. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Hello and to my mom that's watching. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> How are things down in Los Angeles? Oh, they could be better, but we're, uh, we're quarantining and staying at home, coming up with theme ideas to keep ourselves entertained and wearing a face mask if we go out, which we should not. Mm, true mm. enough. True enough. Yes. Well, wonderful. I'm glad, so glad that everyone is here and we've got some people joining us, uh, still growing in numbers on the, uh, on the YouTube channel. So 
This is wonderful. Um, <laughs> I almost did it last week and I almost did it this week. <laughs> I was going to cough my way into the stream. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I would never forget to introduce this gentleman who, although you cannot see him, you can hear him playing in the background. He is our maestro, our musician extraordinaire, and he joins us from Cincinnati, Ohio, Mr. Brandon Boone. Hey, everyone. Disembodied voice coming at you again. There we go. Brandon's fresh nice off his face. live stream that he did on Facebook uh, a few days yeah. ago. Marvelous. Well, this is great. So we've got a full complement of actors, a musician, and uh, a partridge, some tree of some sort. So, folks, tonight for you, we have a script right from the uh, the archives of old-time horror radio very popular show i think back in the 30s and 40s entitled lights out and it was created by uh, a writer director actor i believe he's an actor his name was arch obler and uh, he was uh, well known back in his day for writing a lot of uh, horror-based old-time radio scripts although back in those days it wasn't old-time radio it was just radio so we're going to do one of his stories tonight this is a story entitled, well, I won't, I won't share the title right now. It'll come up in the intro. But in this tale, we are going to meet uh, three ladies who are traveling. Of course, this takes, takes place back in the days of horse-drawn carriages and whatnot. And they are traveling to an inn to spend some time in the country. And as you can only imagine, things don't go very well, do they? So I'm going to be your host for tonight, and I will kick it off with the original hosting script for this production. So let us begin, shall we? <laughs> this is Lights Out, bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you. These Lights Out stories are definitely not for the timid soul or the faint of heart, you might say. <laughs> so we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. <laughs> but if you're fascinated by the mysterious, the fantastic, the unearthly, well, then brace yourself. Ad lib. <clears throat> then anticipate chills in our story of Poltergeist. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! <laughs> hey! That was swell! Now, let's go to town. St. Louis woman with her diamond ring. <laughs> man around. Oh, no, 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 stop that, Kay. What's the matter? Am I scaring the horse? It seems like a sacrilege singing a song like that out here. This beautiful clean snow and blue sky. Well, what's wrong with a hot song to keep us warm? If you think the St. Louis blues is gonna dirty up the snow, you ought to hear M Frankie and Johnny the way I sing it. Oops, stop it, Kay! <laughs> <sighs> You're not funny at all. Oh. Why can't you enjoy the fresh air without that cabaret sort of thing? Oh, -ho. just an old-fashioned gal, eh, Florence? Oh, how about you, Edna? Don't you like my songs either? You haven't said anything for the last five minutes. Well, I, I, I haven't been listening to you to tell the truth. I just love to watch the snow sort of flow along under the sleigh. When you say that, gal, smile. Gosh, did you ever see s more snow in your life? The man at the hotel said it'd be snowing on and off up here for two weeks. I think coming out here to the country is the best thing we three have ever done since we started rooming together. Hiking in the snow is terribly healthy. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. The healthier I get, the worse I feel. <laughs> Crazy idiot. She does say the funniest things, doesn't she? <laughs> I always say that, Kayata. Whoa! Oh, hallelujah! We're here! Is this as far as we go, driver? That's right, miss. Can't go no further down this road, account of the drift. Oh my goodness. 
If the drifts are too deep for a horse, how can we walk through them? I second the motion. Well, you young ladies don't have to worry none so long as you keep going down the valley over there. Snow ain't too piled up that way, all the way to Ma Jenkins. Well, that's marvelous. Come on, girls. Let's get started. All right, well, so long. Uh, take care of yourselves, girls. Come on, Edna. Goodbye, mister. So long. Take care. Listen to the snow talking at us. Very dry snow. Our feet rub particles of it together and the friction makes the sound. Whoa. It's kind of scary, isn't it? Why? Oh, I don't know. It's just as if the snow was sort of trying to talk to us. I mean, as if it was angry at our trespassing. Hey, don't tell me we're trespassing. I don't want any country squire taking any pot shots at my, er, constitutional amendment with rock salt. No, thank you. No, oh, don't talk nonsense, Kay. We're not trespassing. Why, this path through the valley over here to Mrs. Jenkins' house is the favorite hike of everyone who comes up this way during the winter. What's Ma Jenkins got anyway that makes people walk their feet off? <laughs> Wait till you taste her cooking. Eat? Huh. Boy, let's go. It's awfully quiet out here, isn't it? Oh, that's the glory of it. I've had the roar of the subway in my ears for so long. But, Kay, don't walk so fast. Come on! Look what I found! Oh? Come on, Edna. Uh, please, let me take your arm. I'm getting out of breath. Oh, well, take it easy. There's no hurry. <sighs> well, what is it, Kay? Look! Through the circle of trees here, look what I discovered! Well, isn't that interesting? It's a sort of natural amphitheater. Sure! Sure. Say, who was this guy? Daniel Boone? What's an amphitheater? Well, that means an oval circling place with rising tiers of seats. It's, you know, like that place we went for the horse show. Oh, yeah. Back in the times of the Greeks, they had outdoor theaters and- Listen to the professor. And they <laughs> used the places just like this, where the ground sloped up and made a sort of natural arena or stage below. Theater! That's an idea. Sit down, gals, and I'll give a special performance of the K Follies. <laughs> <laughs> it's awfully snowy here, isn't it? I'll trample it down with my spring dance. Welcome, sweet spring! <laughs> Isn't she a nut dancing in the snow? <laughs> if I had that girl's energy. <laughs> She's really graceful, isn't she? I'll bet if she went on the stage, she would... Ow! Kay? She fell. Kay? Kay, did you hurt yourself? Oh, did I land on my dignity? Here, give me a hand. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there you are. Oh, did I take a flop? Uh, did you hurt yourself badly? I'll live. What in the world did I trip over? Oh, no wonder. Look at that rock under the snow. No wonder I did a nosedive. Oh, jeez. My goodness, there are rocks like that all over the place. A person could break their neck if they kept walking. Girls! Up. What's the matter? What is it? Hey, the rock you tripped over, it's, it's not a rock. What are you talking about? Of course it's a rock. Well, yes, but it's, it's, it's something, something more than that. It's a tombstone. Oh! Tombstone? Oh, uh, no, it, it can't be. It... Look for yourself. It says, here lies buried the remains of one who restless in life. Stop! Don't read anymore, stop! And, and all these other stones laying flat on the ground? They're tombstones too? Yes. 
Oh, what a place to pick to dance. Oh, what's the matter, Edna? What did you scream for? Hey, you, 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 you danced on the grave. Wh what? You danced on the grave. I, I saw you, I saw you do it. You danced on the grave. Okay. <laughs> Edna, stop it. Edna, stop it. Let's come into her. Edna, stop acting like that. Stop, for heaven's sakes, control yourself. <laughs> okay. Kid, I'm so sorry for you. You danced on a grave. <laughs> for heaven's sake, stop talking like that. Sure, I danced on a grave. Well, yes, of course she did. It was perfectly accidental. And what if it wasn't? What of it? The poltergeist. The what? Edna Hansen, what are you talking about? What's that word you just used? Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Okay, what have you done? Oh, you superstitious little fool. If you don't stop talking that way, I'm going to slap your face. What's the matter with you? I didn't do anything. You walked on the grave. You danced on the grave. Don't what? Edna, be sensible. We all walked on graves. But it was purely accidental. Yeah. We had no intention of desecrating them. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter. I tell you, it doesn't matter. The poltergeist, he'll come. I know he will. Oh, what's the <gasps> use? She's crazy. No, what are you talking about? What's, what's a poltergeist? What are you so frightened about? My father, he told me, if you walk on a grave, if you dance on a grave, the poltergeist. Poltergeist? What? What is a poltergeist? An evil spirit. It comes out of the grave. It kills. It destroys. He'll kill us. He'll kill us all. Stop it. <laughs> Please, lay off that, will ya, Edna? Ah. But it won't get me. I'll run away. I'll run away. Edna. Edna, come back here. She's gone insane. I'll, I'll get her. Edna! Edna! Kay, catch her! Edna! Edna, don't run away! Nothing will hurt you! Nothing! Oh, Edna, look out! <laughs> Kay? Kay, Kay, what happened? That, that stone! It hit Edna! Edna? Edna? Open your eyes! Blood! Blood all over her face! Kay, who threw that stone? Who threw it? I don't know. It came from... from the graveyard. Now, girls, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh! Doctor, she won't die. Tell me she won't die. No, no, of course not. And you're sure that her skull isn't fractured? Oh, absolutely not. M maybe a little concussion, that's all. Well, it's almost five. Our train. Can't we get someone to help us carry her down to the station so we can get her on board? Bored? <laughs> I'm telling that little friend of yours shouldn't be moved out of bed for a week. If you do, well, it might just be too bad. Oh, Flo, what'll we do? You go home, Kay. I'll stay with her. Oh, no, you won't. I'm not leaving you alone here in this godforsaken place. If you stay, I stay too. Hey, please be sensible. Why should we all lose our jobs when you can just- If you'll excuse me, ladies, I've got to be on my way. Oh. Yes, of course, doctor. Is there anything more you can do for Edna, doctor? Any medicine or something? Nope, I've done all I can do. She's sleeping comfortably now. Uh, 
Er, uh, miss? Yes, doctor? Uh, the constable's sick, too, you know, and he's sort of dependent on me to keep things straight. Now, um, just how did you say that little friend of yours got hurt? Well, it... it was just the way we explained, doctor. The rock came flying and... Yes, I know, I know, but... but who threw the rock? We... we don't know. What? It's true, Doctor. We don't know. Well, but somebody threw it. You can't change facts. Somebody threw the rock that cracked her head. For heaven's sakes, old man, you don't think we did it? You don't now, think we did now, it? Now, miss, miss, I didn't... Hey, did. don't get excited. Doctor, you've got to believe us. It happened just the way we said. All at once, that rock came flying through the air from the direction of the graveyard. It struck Edna, and... And we just didn't see who threw it. Hmm. Oh, well, all right, if, if that's your story. Well, you better stay in your rooms here. I mean, you better not be leaving until the constable's on his feet and has a chance to talk with you. Uh, I'll be back in a few hours to see how the girl is. He doesn't believe us. What difference does it make? We know what we saw. But what did we see? She was running. She... she fell. Okay. Well... Let's not fool ourselves. There was no one there to throw that rock. There must have been. But there wasn't. Stop saying that! Aren't you brave enough to face facts? There wasn't any place for anyone to hide. I saw that stone. It seemed to come down out of the air. So slowly. Florence, if you don't stop talking like that! Do you remember what... What Edna said? It throws things. Stop looking at me like that. You're giving me the jitters. She said the poltergeist throws things. Spirit of evil. Florence, Rob, have you gone crazy too? Why should we laugh at things like that? What right have we got to laugh? How do we know there are powers we can't see or understand? Powers of evil that revenge on an insult, just like an evil man. Kay, how do we know? What are you talking like that for? What are you trying to scare me for? You... You're supposed to be the most intelligent one of us all. You, with your college degree. Sure, sure, I danced on the grave, but... The dead are dead, and they can't revenge a thing. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. I tell you, it's not... Not... It can't be... What? It's... it's Edna. Come on. Edna! We're coming to you! Edna, don't be afraid, we're coming! Open the door, Florence, it's not locked! It's... it's stuck! It won't give! Here, let me... <laughs> Edna! What is it? What? <laughs> And know what? <laughs> hey, what's going on here? <gasps> oh, the girl on the bed. Her head, it, it's crushed, flattened by a rock. God in heaven, it's not a rock. It's a tombstone. I... I wish I could cry. But I haven't got any more tears. Why, Edna? Edna! Florence, darling, please. You'll kill yourself if you keep on like that. 
<laughs> if this horrible night would only end. It was my fault. Mine. I was the one who got her out here. She didn't want to go. She hates the country. But I made her come. I made her. No. No, you're not the one to blame. I am. I danced on the grave. But she was so good. So sweet. Why did it have to be Edna? Why? You're right. You're right. It wasn't right for it to be her. Was it? No. I did it. Not her. I did it. I danced on the grave. I danced on the grave. Now, you can't deny it, Hooper. You can't deny what you see with your own eyes. But I tell you, Doc, nobody could have carried that tombstone up the steps without me seeing them, could they? But there it is, ain't it? Yeah, there it is. Either somebody's playing a terrible joke, or... or... You don't have to say it, Doc. I know. Oh, that's just the trouble. You don't know, and I don't know, and nobody knows. Yeah, and... and that tombstone? What, well, what about the tombstone? I, I ain't quite sure, but that's a tombstone out of the old burying grounds, up at the bend. Oh, you're crazy. No, I ain't either. Why, that place is a good three miles from here. Yeah, I know. Well, who could have carted a heavy stone like that for three miles? Yeah, who? Oh, stop looking like that, you flap-eared old fool. Gosh, you haven't moved in ten minutes. But anyways, human hands carried that stone in here and killed that girl. Sure. Hmm. Well, listen, the constable will find out who did it the minute he's on his feet again. You wait and see. No. No, he won't, Doc. Uh, you're smarter than me and all that, but, oh, this time, this time you're wrong. There ain't nobody that takes in breath and leaves out breath like you and me that the constable's gonna find out who killed that girl. You know that, Doc. Oh, just stop talking. I wish the constable was here, and this night was over. It's been a terrible night. Oh, terrible. A terrible clock. Ticking. Ticking. I know. I've been sitting here listening to it. I can't stand it anymore. I'll stop it. Why bother with it? Come to bed, Kay. Please, there's no use sitting there. It won't help her. Yeah. Nothing can help her. But maybe I can help you. Me? It was my fault. Mine. I was the reason it happened. It killed her, and it'll kill you and me, too. Unless I stop it. No, don't say that. It's true. But why should you be hurt? I'm to blame, not you. Listen, Flo. I'll go out there. There? Out there. To the graveyard. What? I'll talk to it. Kay! I'll tell it I didn't mean to do it. No. That I didn't know where I was dancing. Please! Maybe somehow it'll... it'll hear. Listen to me. And then it won't hurt you. Oh, no, no! I won't let you go out there. It'll kill you! But, Florence... It'll kill you, too! But, Florence... No! No, I'll hold you! You can't go! You can't! All right. Come to bed, Kay. Please. In the morning... In the morning, things will be different. But it won't. Nothing will hurt us. The men, they're, they're right outside the door. They won't let anything get at us. 
Oh, please, Kate, please, come to bed. Yeah. We'll... We'll pray. Pray? I... I don't exactly know how. Just say anything. Anything like this. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Now you. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Okay. Okay, are you sleeping? I can't sleep anymore. Okay, tomorrow. I mean, when it gets light and everything. Do you think people will believe us? Do you think so, Kay? I, I'm not quite sure what happened. I always used to be so sure about things, and now I'd... Kay? Kay, where are you? Kay, where... The window. She went out the window. She's gone out there, to the graveyard, to talk t to it. Okay, why did you go? Why did you go? I'll go out there too. Oh, she'll be so frightened out there alone. I'll go too. I'll go too. God, it's so cold. And snow is so sharp. Cutting my legs. Why did you go out there, Kay? Why did you... I've got to find you. Oh, the wind. Oh, why doesn't the wind stop? Oh, blow, blow that winter wind. Thou oh, are not so kind as... you <laughs> it's snowing I love snow Edna didn't like snow where are you Kay where are you here I am Florence I've lost my way I've lost the road here I am where are you, Kay? Kay, where... Where are you? Here I am, Florence. <gasps> oh, Kay. <laughs> this way. I heard you, Kay. I heard you. I'm coming to you, Kay. We'll talk to it. We'll talk to it together. We'll say that we didn't mean any harm. Won't we, Kay? Won't we? This way, Florin. Poor Edna. We can't help her, Kay. We can't help Edna. But I'll come help you, Kay. I'm coming. I'm coming! This way, Florence. Yes, I hear you! Here we are, Florence. I hear you! I'm coming, darling. I'm coming to help. I'm coming to help you. I'm coming. I'm coming. This way. This way. Here I am, Florence. I hear you. I hear you calling my name. I hear you. Yes. This way. Here we are, Florence. This way, Florence. 
Here we are, Florence. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. This way, Flor. Where are you? Where are you? Here we are. This way. No. No! This way, Hooper. They must have come this way. Huh. Climbing out the window like that in the middle of the night? Oh, they must have gone crazy, the both of them. Well, let's not worry about that now. We've got to find them. Here, give me that lantern. What is it, Doc? What have you found? It's a shoe. One of the girl's shoes. My gosh. Stuck in the snow? We're going the right way. Come on, move fast. We gotta go get to them. Uh, Doc, look at this. What is it? Over there. Ain't these footprints? Yes, y yes, that's right. Footprints. H Hello, up ahead. Hello. Doc? H Hello. We're, we're getting pretty close to the old burying grounds. Well, what of it? Maybe. Oh, look here, Doc. Let's not be fools. Let's wait until morning. Wh what And let those frightened girls freeze to death? Get along. But, Doc, I... Uh, you come with me or the whole town will know what a yellow-livered no-good you are. All right. All right, you don't have to get so sore, Doc. Hello? Hello? Anybody up there? Hello? Doc! Doc, look! What? There they are! Up ahead! Oh, glory be, they're alive! The both of them! Come on! Doc? Doc, look at them! That's the burying ground up there! And they're, they're dancing! Dancing on the graves! Why, they must be out of their heads! Come on, we gotta stop them! Doc? Doc, wait for me! Oh, Doc, it's dark again. Where are they, Doc? Where are the girls? H have they... Have they stopped dancing? Yes. Huh? They've stopped dancing. Did the... Did, did they ever dance? What are you talking about, Doc? We saw them. We saw them dancing in this place with our own eyes. Did we? The moonlight. Here it comes again. S see with your eyes again. <gasps> oh, no. Both of the girls frozen stiff to the ground, each with her head. Crushed by a tombstone. You've been listening to Lights Out, written and directed by Arch Obler. Well, not directed. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, folks. How about that for a wonderful little production? <laughs> Woo! Yay! It was fun Listen, to do, but we lost Mike. You can hear their applauds. Uh, applauds. <laughs> applauds. <laughs> applauds. <laughs> yes, I will take two applauds, please. Two applauds. Yes, Mike, we've uh, we've noticed you've been frozen in place for quite some time. <laughs> oh, are you I thought that was just dramatic. dramatic. I know. It, it looked like a picture taken for like his next album. Like, <laughs> <laughs> live in the studio. Oh, like, there's, been some, uh, there's been some theorizing on the uh, YouTube chat. Which oh, stop and start. My computer's over there. I couldn't see the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. You, your voice was well heard. Okay, there's Mikey D's. Turn it off. It'll turn back on. See if it turns back on. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Thank you, everybody, for uh, your wonderful performances. Lots of screaming and crying. Always fun to do a scream. <laughs> Typical women, always screaming and crying. And dancing <laughs> on graves. Yeah. Yes, well, that goes without saying. 
So, uh, and thank you everyone in the audience for listening. Um, if you want, we'll, we'll hang out for just a few more minutes. We're, uh, we're right around time. We're right around six uh, or about uh, 40 minutes. So um, if there's anything, oh, look at all the, lots of applause in the comments oh, coming in. Yay. People are clapping their hands Hi, together. Hi, Brad Kelly. Oh, Claudius Moore in chat. I see Mary Sybil as well. What's up, Desma Deuce? I still don't know how to say your name, but we'll just call you Desmond. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about Richard Kelly. He said, my daughter just asked if I made the girl on my phone cry. Oh, Is that a normal thing that Richard oh, Kelly does? Goodness. Oh, we got Rose Trunzo and Cat. What is in chat and Cat? I've got, I'm surrounded by three cats. I'm sorry. Cat on the brain. John Nisbet, one of our editors. What is up, everybody? Wonderful. I love Glad everybody like my editor. prop. The tombstone was well received, it looks like. Yes, everyone loved the tombstone. I just ran into my closet really quickly and dug that out of my Halloween supplies. I like how you just have a tombstone in your closet. That's pretty great. <laughs> of course great. I have a tombstone you? in my <laughs> closet. Seems fairly who, standard issue. Who, who doesn't? <laughs> well, uh, I should let everybody know that we're going to hopefully uh, be back again tomorrow, tomorrow Whoa. afternoon. And oh, there's I my. wasn't invited. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Where's well, Mike? See, he is alive. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> running again. Yay, we just he's had to video is. him. He has no audio now. There's no audio. <laughs> you get oh. one or the other. That's right, one or the other. You can't, uh, can't have both. But uh, yeah, we're going uh, to have uh, another story for you. Hopefully tomorrow afternoon, we're going to have our British contingent to join us. David Alt and Erica Sanderson will be on the stream. Whoop joining myself and Graham Rowett, and we've got a fun story for you. It's a story called A Face in the Window. No, not exactly. It's, <laughs> it's called The Thing in the Window. So please join us for that. We're hopefully, I think what we're going to shoot for is 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which will be 8 p.m. over there in the U.K., and noon for the left coast people, and wherever all y'all live, you know how to calculate time, right? So... Looking for that tomorrow afternoon. But uh, so there you go, folks. Well, again, thank you. Thank you to... That was so much fun. Hey, Mike's back in, in all forms. Love it. S Sarah, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. This was fun. Say, say uh, your greetings to the fans and your, Hello, your fans. well wishes. Hello, fans. <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy, stay spooky. And go buy a tombstone at your earliest convenience. Yes, a much needed thing. Aaron Lillis, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Wonderful. Always and a pleasure. It is a and joy. you can get these, you know, at your local Spirit Halloween store if those ever get back up and running. Yes, yes. Fingers crossed that we'll be uh, able to celebrate Halloween this year. Jessica McAvoy, thank you for coming on the stream. Yeah, thanks for having me. I hope everyone out there is staying healthy, staying safe, staying quarantined, maintain that social distance, wash your hands. If you weren't before, big ick, but do it now. <laughs> and do your neck exercises so you can flop your head around like Jessica. Okay, it's crunchy. <laughs> crunchy neck. And of course, Mr. Mike Delgadio. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, had a lot of fun. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, and yeah, we're going to keep doing these live streams throughout uh, throughout the time immemorial or whatever. We're going to keep doing it. <laughs> ad infinitum. A, ad, ad, ad infinitum, ad nauseum. And Brandon, <laughs> before we go, what about you? Any last words from Cincinnati? Uh, just echoing what everyone else said. Stay safe, stay healthy. Do your neck exercises, pop your head around like Jessica, etc. Do neck exercises, but no necking. No necking out there unless you mm, definitely know not social distancing. Not yes. For a while. Right. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Well, thanks again, folks, for joining us. And uh, we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. And uh, if you're catching the stream afterwards, thanks for tuning in. Remember, smash that subscribe button. I always like <laughs> bell Let's subscribe Ting tingle the bell and jingle your bells oh. Oh. <laughs> all right folks well we're gonna stop the live stream so good night stay sleepless stay healthy and stay home bye